Hello everybody, it's Repanty Gamer here for another episode of Let's Play Animal Crossing City Folk for a Year. And how's everybody doing today? It's 8.21 p.m. on March 14th, 2012. We're gonna get started here, boys and girls. And guys, I mentioned the other day, um, I'm going to be doing a subscriber day on Saturday. So, uh, cause it's a fishing tourney. So if you do come, make sure you bring your fishing poles. It'll probably be a three-person visitor's day. I don't know if I'm going to do a Skype call for it or not yet. I probably will, just because it's more fun that way, but I haven't decided for sure yet. Um, it was super hot again today. Uh, not super hot, but it was 75 degrees. Uh, in the city, it was... I mean, there was a nice breeze, so it wasn't so bad. But it was it just felt so hot out and I just hated it because I'm not really a big fan of hot weather I prefer the cold like I like 50 to 60 is my favorite. That's my ideal weather Like I love being from the Chicago area because that's just kind of how the weather typically is it does get hot here during the summer though like Just like anywhere else. It does get really really warm, which kind of sucks, but whatever um other than that, I don't have much to talk about. Once again, just have a lot of homework that I'm working on right now. That's why I've been doing so many late episodes and haven't done many subscriber days. In addition to also trying to record my current projects and all that. So, it's kind of difficult to be able to get on Skype to host a big call and play with a bunch of people. And I apologize for that because I know a lot of you really enjoy that, but sometimes it's just difficult to get to do that. Um... But I mean, I, I already posted the first episode of Super Mario World. I'll be posting the uh, second episode tomorrow. Um, what do you guys think of it? What did you think of it, uh, assuming you've seen it? Uh, did you enjoy it? Did you think it was good? A lot of you liked how um, informative I was on the game. I didn't really think I was even that informative. I kind of just thought I was naming facts of the game. But at the same time, I guess some people would view that as informative. You've got some balls there. I don't really want any of those balls. I'm not a big fan of balls. You know? Balls are just balls, so I don't see a reason for it. Um, something else that's going on right now that's just adding to my long shopping list of projects is I've uh, started working with another company, a website by the name of $10 Gaming. Uh, I don't know if I've ever mentioned them before. I feel like I have when I first met them, but now I'm working with a direct, uh, direct collaboration with them. Basically, their whole thing is telling you basically the best games to get for your money, obviously $10 or less, and they basically, you know, the guy who runs it has a full-time job, he's always busy, so he really only has time to do, like, article review style, and they're really well written, and I really like them a lot, but he is lacking that personality that it takes sometimes to run a really successful website, so I'm going to actually be making reviews for him. Um, and since he really doesn't have any way to capture game footage, like, as far as, like, consoles, because he can record, you know, PC games and all that, but he can't do Xbox and all that, so I'm doing, uh, Xbox Live Arcade stuff for him, or the Wii Virtual Console, or Wii Wear, and all that good stuff, so I'm doing that for him, and... In exchange, he's basically buying me the games, and I'm reviewing them for him, and we're putting them on his channel. I'll be posting them here also. Um, I already started on two. Um, one of them is Sonic CD, which I actually already beat the entire game in order to get the footage for. Um, that's one of my probably my first one for them, since it's really easy, and I pretty much already know everything I want to say about the game. The other one I have is Warp, a game that EA just recently released on the Xbox Live Arcade. Uh, it's a really weird game. I'm trying to play through the whole thing before I start writing the review. I'm just playing through it and recording the whole game so that I have an idea of exactly what I want to talk about. It's a very strange game. Very fun. Uh, obviously puzzle-based. Not obviously. It's puzzle-based. It's just kind of a weird game, and one of the reasons I wanted to review it was because it looks like a cute little fun game. Like, oh, it's so cute, but it's actually pretty brutal. Like, I, I mean, I'll tell you a little bit about it. I mean, basically, you're this alien who ends up in this uh, facility. You're being studied, but you escape. And basically, your ability is to warp, um, hence the name warp. And you can warp inside anything, pretty much, including people. So you can warp inside someone, and 
can just rupture them. Like, you shake, basically you shake the controller stick, and they just explode. Uh, you can also, you know, because people will see that you're inside their friend, so, like, a soldier will see you're inside another soldier, so they'll try to shoot you while you're inside the soldier. So if you teleport out real quick, he'll shoot his friend. I think if you get a certain amount of those, it's an achievement. I mean, it's called friendly fire, but in general, I think after a certain amount, you get something for it. There's more elements to the game than just that, I know. Um, I'm not that far yet. Uh, just stuff I've seen in trailers and just general researching of the game. But I'm doing review of that also. And then I have a third game. Now I can't remember what it's called. Shoot Many Robots, I think is what it's called. And it's basically like a four-player co-op shooter. And it's made very much in the style of like Contra and other classic side-scrolling shooting, side-scroller shooter games. And I think that's really cool because I, I mean, no one really makes side-scrolling, side-scroller shooters anymore. And it's pretty fun, and the co-op is pretty sweet. I only got to play with one other person, but it's still pretty cool. Um, so that's gonna be the third review I do for them, and then after that, it's kind of just gonna be a mix of whatever else I want. This is kind of just the test. Uh, test run around to see if he likes my stuff, if it works for him and all that, and we'll go on from there. And just because I can record uh, console video games doesn't mean I won't be doing anything on like Steam or, well I guess Steam's really it. I mean I could always look into things on the App Store I guess, since I have a Mac, but I don't know. I feel like that's that kind of center. Oh no I didn't! I, you didn't see that. That didn't just happen. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to do that. I feel like I'm cheating by putting this here, but I really don't care. Ugh, damn it. You didn't see that. That didn't just happen. Ugh. I feel like I have to pick that up now. I feel like after doing that, the joke is over. I feel like I just ruined it. Why do they have to die so young? I do have a squill droid. Squill droid. Squill. Never mind. But yeah, so that's going on right now. I'll have a link to their website in the bullet description below. Uh, the videos, like the reviews I'm making, I'm not going to just post on his YouTube or his website. I will be doing, I will be posting them here as well, so you all get to see. You won't have to like go searching for them. I'm actually really excited because, for the most part, I'll be reviewing indie games, and I love indie games. Obviously, EA isn't an indie developer, people who made Warp, but it's still a really good game for under $10, or $10 exactly, actually. But, it, and, you know, I get to give you guys pointers I want to buy because there's so much stuff on the Xbox Live Arcade that it's like, I mean, even I have issues with it where, like, what's even worth buying? You know, that's what it always comes down to is, do I really want to spend my money on this or that? Maybe, maybe not, because $10 is a great deal for some of the games they offer, but some of the games are not even worth $5 or worth anything. But... That's beside the point. I'm rambling now about my projects. I'm just excited because I've been wanting to do video reviews for a while now, and I've just kind of been looking for motivation, and I feel like working with this website will help motivate me a lot more. Especially now that I've been testing out my camera, going out and shooting some stuff. I feel like I have more of an idea of how my camera works now. Uh, the Sonic CD review actually is probably gonna be really good. Like I said, I already recorded all the footage, and you know, if you've never played Sonic CD, which you shouldn't, that shouldn't ever happen, the whole idea of the game is time travel. Um, that's a big element behind it. And I'm really excited for that because I'm a big fan of time travel in science fiction. So I have a lot of like different time travel references and all that good stuff. And hey there. Oh, Dumpling, good evening, I guess. It is evening, right? I was all worried because Lauren's house was so small, but it looks bigger, doesn't it? I mean, it's got to be at least as big as my house, right? Eek! What if I wake up one day and that house is bigger than mine? Oh yeah, didn't Lauren... Uh, it's been so long since she's played, but I think she got a house upgrade the last time she played. I'm almost positive. <gasps> oh my god, roaches. I'm trapped. Can't do anything. The heck? That's stupid. We can go up and look at her, though. We can watch her sleep. Hi. Okay, sorry. That was weird. She's been, like, in a coma. Goodness. 
hopefully I'll be able to get her back into the series. I know it's been a long time and she really didn't be in it as much as I wanted her to be. But she's always busy with her stuff and I'm always busy with mine and we finally get to hang out with each other. You know, Animal Crossing is not really something that comes to mind is what we want to do. Nate's house. We haven't actually been in Nate's house, so this will be an experience. Ooh. Welcome, Jake. It's good to see you. So, Jake, notice anything new and awesome about me? I'm wearing the outfit you designed. I gotta say, it's pretty cool how you design your own clothes. <sighs> Next time, though, could you design me a shirt with a picture of a shortcake on it? Uh, sure. I like the I like the layout of his house. That fan looks really breezy. Anyways, guys, it's been 10 minutes or 11 minutes or so. I'm gonna end the episode now. I apologize for that, but yeah, be on the lookout for Subscriber Day on Saturday. He's following me. Be on the lookout for Subscriber Day on Saturday. I'll be sure to give you more details uh, Friday when I know for sure what's going on. But anyways, guys, please like this video. If you're this video, comment, share, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do a really share love. I'm Rip Handy Gamer. Please like, check out Super Mario World if you haven't already, and be sure to look out for tomorrow's episode. So, guys, see you next time. Bye.